Hello, good morning. The life we have is not of our own. Of course, it's by the mercy of God. It's another Wednesday, midweek, and we have to get you into the group. Thank you for tuning in to join us. And of course, we're going to have some great interactions right here on the show, the AM show. And um, what a way for us to start, because we have to tell you what is up for some great discussions. You all may be aware today is exactly six months when the road minister after those concerns had been raised by residents of uh, LECMA and um, ultimately that is what we're going to talk about. We're talking about many of the meaningful things tomorrow as we mark six months of that timeline that had been given by the road minister for the LECMA roads, 7.5 kilometers to be constructed. So tomorrow we'll be going there. But today we'll have some great discussions around it. Uh, but we also need to talk all the topical issues. Because just the morning of yesterday, Tuesday, we had all the parties led by the NDC, um, also complemented by the APC, the PNC, etc., uh, forming that uh, pressure group saying they are against the Electoral Commission compiling a new register. But ultimately, by the close of the day, we got to know they're suspending the series of protests they had initially gave us those timelines on to get to see whether the eminent advisory committee put together by the management of the Electoral Commission of Ghana are going to intervene to address the concerns they have and also come to a middle ground. So the Electoral Commission will bring uh, their, themselves onto the table and the parties also will do that ultimately. But what a way also for all of us to spread the conversation, rope in other topical ones as well. Mm. Yeah. Just 10 months to the election, and what a way. Which register are we going to use for the general elections of the Republic of Ghana 2020? Would it be a newly compiled one or the existing one updated? <laughs> Please stay tuned. We have Frank Anodompre. He's a member of parliament for Insawam Adwejri but also a member of the Foreign Affairs, no, Chairman of uh, Parliament's Foreign Affairs Committee. And uh, he will be joined by Dr. Clement Park, a member of the Education Committee and other relevant committees of Parliament and member of Parliament for Bosa South. It promises to be some exciting times having that interaction this morning on AM Talk. I promise you, you have to stay tuned. And uh, some great insights in there. But as we always do every Wednesday, it is time for us to talk business midweek and for AMBs, we'll tell you the story of Emmanuel Awume, who polishes cars of precedent for ceremonial purposes. You know, it's not your usual day-to-day -day car wash person. Polish. Yeah, and our team led by Odilia Ntiamwa decided to Look at how innovative polishing cars of the rich and famous would be right here in Ghana. Arrive Alive. That's a new hashtag to ensure that after we've marked a week of that gruesome accident, uh, following which within that period we had a number of accidents as well, uh, the Don Poisson one which we reviewed yesterday, uh, we will ensure that we get education and um, some you know, common sense into our minds so that when we're boarding those cars, we're even driving ourselves or just normal passengers and motorists, we will ensure we do the right thing. Now, what role could drivers and passengers play in this regard? Arrive alive. And if you want to send us those hashtags, perhaps your experiences about a bad torture driver or your own mischievous way of not adhering to rules on the road, please make sure that you always add the hashtag AMShowJoinNews and hashtag Arrive Alive. <laughs> what a way, what a way. 
you know, tragic, tragic. You had uh, Road Safety Management Services Limited with their tow trucks doing some great work there as well. But it was a tragic incident. Mm, but please, get interactive. We have Facebook, join us on TV. We have a Twitter handle, I join us on TV. We'll wrap up the show with some great entertainment. We'll bring you the latest sports headlines and tell you what you need to know when it comes to... Well, the lineup or the groups that will be participating in the qualifiers for the next World Cup. Ghana has been grouped as well. So Benedictos will be right here. But we have to start with Kojo Yangson. He has a message. And um, I've seen Robert Redford, one of my favorite all-time uh, Hollywood icons. And uh, he'll tell you all in this motivational message. Do stay with us.